Hello and welcome to yet Hi. another photo shoot video. <laughs> We're here in Amsterdam again with Sylvie. She's a really talented model. Thank you, you too. <laughs> Thank you. And um, actually this morning is actually really nice weather and uh, we're actually going to be exploring some small alleyways like backyard small alleyways here in Amsterdam to see if we can get any really interesting angles. So yeah. Some street shooting. Yeah, definitely. So let's get into the video. <laughs> So for this shoot as usual, I'm using my Canon EOS R5 with the 28 to 70 mm f2 at f2 and I'm using my 85 mm f1.2 at f1.2. And just like the rest of my photo shoot videos from this month, it seems to really follow the theme of taking advantage when the weather is good to go out spontaneously to do a photo shoot and see what I can get. And for today's spontaneous shoot idea is to shoot in several alleyways here in Amsterdam. And after moving from Amsterdam to The Hague for quite a few months now, I realized I've never done any proper photo shoots here in Amsterdam's alleyways or pretty much in Amsterdam city center itself. So yeah, today will be interesting and also quite challenging and I think you'll see why later in the video. Yes, this is pretty good. Could you maybe step towards the side a little bit? This side? I mean, could, could you maybe like step? Yeah. Uh, yes. This is great. This is really nice. Like, would, would it be okay for you to like sit on me? Okay. Yes, this is really nice. Yes, this is really nice. Oh, I really like the flare and your hair. It's really nice over here. <laughs> Let me show you some of the uh, sample images. Oh, nice. Yeah, the sunlight and your hair and your eyes yeah, and the houses. Nice. It's really nice. Yeah, so this is the next location, and I was hoping that. This is really like a nice. <laughs> really? I mean, you know, a bit wide. Yeah. Actually, oh, I think you can actually just hang your bag over here, because um, I'm looking for this kind of angle where you're just kind of leaning towards this rail, like leaning back on this rail, mm -hmm. kind of, and it's going to be kind of half body, very similar to what we did on the green rail yeah. over there. I just really like this back alley kind of yeah. vibe yeah cool it's gonna be half body as what we did earlier oh i'm poking this bike yes are you okay no, no oh the wet I see, yeah. Yeah, it sometimes happens. Let me go a little bit tighter on you with another lens. That is great. Okay, let me show you some sample images. Mm -hmm. These are really uh, tight crops. Mm -hmm. What if, like... Um... You kind of like stand here, and then I'll be up there on the staircase. Just give me like kind of like um, 
the confident stare into the camera. So right away after walking through several alleyways, what I see as my next challenge isn't only just looking for nice alleyways that would actually suit the theme that I had in my head, the kind of character, as well as the color theme that Sylvie is wearing as her outfit, but also the light difference. As a photographer, of course I expect that there would be a light difference between the alleyways and the main street as well as the sky, but I wasn't expecting how much light the alleyways were actually absorbing from the sun and how many bright colored or actually reflective colored buildings out there on the main street that would actually contribute to a lot of overexposing in the background as well as in the sky and causing this huge contrast in light and shadows area between the alleyways and the environment outside the alleyway itself, especially during this golden hour of sunrise. So yeah, that's one huge challenge that I definitely miscalculated. And also another challenge is me consistently being worried about my gear as well as my backpack walking through this part of Amsterdam. So yeah, this is kind of interesting and also kind of interesting to see for myself editing this video, seeing how my brain actually operates under this kind of pressure. So yeah. Yes, I love that. Yes, keep that stare. Could we have like one post where you're leaning against the wall? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, that would actually be much better. Yes, that's great. Okay, I think we have it. One really positive point about having this kind of photo shoot, you know, where it's spontaneous and you don't have some sort of storyboard to actually make it really concrete. It's just you have a general idea of your theme and you just spontaneously go out and shoot with your model, is that you're actually open to all sorts of ideas. So in this case, I'm really open to using anything as a prop, to be honest, even the bush or even the bikes or even any doorknobs or even bricks to add as a certain texture. So it's really great to really just go out and do some spontaneous shooting. I know that some people, it's really hard to do something that's just really spontaneous they always need a plan but you know I'm a person who's a bit like that too but as I've shown in quite a few of my photo shoot videos being spontaneous really opens the door up for so many rooms of creativity and therefore you can really come home with so many interesting and also good images in the same time that also adds to the series of photos of this particular shoot or any shoot that you do so yeah really open up and do a lot of spontaneous shoots because that way you will always learn to actually adapt using things as props or using certain concepts or just adapt new concepts while having your photo shoot. So yeah, I personally really recommend you to go out and actually give it a go, have a spontaneous photo shoot and see what you can actually come up with because so many times you can actually surprise yourself with spontaneity as well and also opens the door for new concepts and just overall learn something new regardless of the condition, weather and what have you. Maybe yeah, just just the one that's uh, kind of yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's really cool. Cool. I think we have it for this and then just one last one kind of, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> this one last one just kind of like in the, in this part. I just want to get a little bit of the plant in as well. Yeah, just like around, maybe around here. 
Absolutely. And since this is my last video of this year, I would like to thank all of you very much for watching, whether if you're completely new to the channel or if you're a frequent viewer. It has been a great journey so far this year, and I'm always very happy to read your comments, read your stories, your experience, and your recommendations as well. And there are definitely more exciting concepts and shoots coming up next year as well. And also thank you all very much for your support and suggestions. And I'm pleased to announce that in February of 2023, I'll be launching my online courses as well. And I couldn't have done that without your support and your recommendations. So yeah, thank you all very much again from the bottom of my heart. And also, I'd like to wish you all a happy new year with good health and have a great one. <laughs> do you actually do that again when you just kind of like yeah yeah precisely yes go oh, in there yeah cool i think we have it okay yay oh nice this is really cool nice So yeah, that was it for this short photo shoot here in Amsterdam along the alleyways. <laughs> She's always very energetic and very creative, so and also very talented. And uh, go and follow her on Instagram as well. The link is well, the, the name of her account is here, somewhere on the screen. And uh, yeah, I hope you all can actually gain something from this video. If you need a free photography guidebook, it's absolutely for free on my website. Just click and download. The link is down in the description section below. Any suggestions or questions, also just feel free to leave them down in the comment section below as well. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, have fun shooting. Till next time, for now. <laughs> <laughs>